Start of the fourth quarter, two-point game. Saints trail 23 to 21 with a first and 10 after a huge play from Hillman to Parks. Has him at the Vikings 36 on the first and 10. Matlock, big hole right side. He is inside the 20, drug down at the 10 yard line. Saints pulling it on. Now this is the first time I've seen him put both money and Donche to this side of the ball and put Buffalo to the top. Now the Saints are gonna hurry here and they've, and they've got Straight on a counter is what they did right there. First yeah, they had him from I'm the not sure. I'm not sure if they confused themselves or they had yeah. Nolan confused right there because they hurried to the football, didn't get anybody blocked now. It's going to be second and goal from the 10. Let's go back to that run. Yeah, what a huge hole by uh, Chase Stadler, the right guard, and Michael Flores, the right tackle. It goes without saying the offensive line in the second half has really, really stepped it up. That's a good point. Their physicality has changed. In the backfield is Don Shea. Oh my, he, that's a bad that ball. ball is a football. And Matlock will fall on it and a big loss all the way back at the 20 and that didn't work. Yeah, they tried to tried to run a little swing and as soon as he as soon as he threw that ball behind him, you knew that was a live football. Now here's 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 the key, man. You got to get back in position if you can to kick this field goal to go up. So this is a this is a critical call in the football game. Matlock comes out in the backfield. Third goal from the 20. T. Love comes in as the running back. Jordan Jones on the far right side. Paul Breed, Love, and Mitch Popwell both to the right side. And they're bringing the blitz. Hillman looking for somewhere to go. Thinking about taking off. Instead, T. Love, sideline, oh. in and out of the hands. Incomplete. Saw his quarterback oh. running again and tried to throw that ball up to him. Good job when your quarterback's in trouble. Go on and take off right here. Good job of picking up the blitz. How physical has the Saints offensive line been? A good job by Hillman keeping his eyes down the field. He throws this ball up. Almost. Boy, that's, Boy, he that's tough. That now, this will be, right let's there. see if we can hit this field goal. Going to be from 38 yards. 38 yards left. Maybe seven pass. yards. Right-footed kicker. He's going to need to push just a little bit. Longest on the year is 22 for Andrew Lynn, he's one for two. Boots this from the near hash. It's up, and it is good! Saints have taken a one-point lead on a 37-yarder by the freshman kicker, Andrew Lynn. Now look here, watch how he lines up. That's a great, that's a great kick, man, right there, right through the center of the uprights. We've seen him practice it all season long. It's the first time he had the opportunity to come from the left hash. And boy, does he deliver under pressure. What a kick by the freshman kicker, Andrew Lynn. Special teams, man. Has it been the difference in this boy. game or what? Special teams play for the play in the game. First time tonight. All Saints has the lead up 24 to 23. With 10.39 left to go in the fourth quarter, the entire crowd on the Saints side here of McNair Stadium in Youngfield is on their feet. It almost seems like they've waited all 2018 for this. <laughs> it has been a bumpy road in this youthful roster and reloading of a year and season for Aaron Beck and all Saints. But with the postseason coming up, this is the penultimate game of the regular season. Now let's see if the Saints stay focused here. The game is not over, clearly. But boy, do they have some momentum right here. And there it is, almost exactly the same distance, but that kick will be blown. And boy, that would have been a tough That's ball to field. I don't think he, I don't think the official blew the whistle to get the ball off the ground and he, he kicked it before they put it into play, I believe. I think so, I saw a couple of the Saints players looking to the referee uh, as the ball was being kicked. I think they were waiting for the whistle, and I think he thought he heard the whistle. There's some, there's some whistles going off on the Saints side here with the cheering. That may have been a little bit confusing for the young kicker. There were some whistles going off up here when the alarm was going off. All the we got all kinds of whistles. And the alarm bells are going off on the Vikings sideline, certainly. As uh, their 7-1 record on 2018 is in jeopardy with 10.39 left to go in the fourth quarter. <laughs> There's Lynn booting it. 
That one goes a little farther. Fielded by Trey King. And he's going to try to take it across the field. They fake oh, a reverse. Nice oh, an oh. opening. Got Rocking the kicker the to beat. Flag on the play. But he will go oh, just play. about the distance as trekking him down was Todd Thompson. What a play by Todd Thompson. Well, this one's coming back. And he can't the give it up. But wow, was that well designed. Now, that's what happens, guys, when you kick it one side or the other every time. Then they fake that reverse. And he went to the, he went to the long side of the field. Wow, was that well designed. That was a There's good call right by Noah Catholic right there. Really good call. And it is a holding call, as signaled by Harvey Smith, the referee. And that will negate the Trey King return and much to the delight of the Saints nation here in attendance. Well, I hate to keep pointing to it, man, okay, but how big, that play by Todd great play, great play not to give up. I mean, that, that really, that's, that's a display of what this team is about right now. They're not giving up. They didn't give up down at the half, and they had had some things go against them, but that's... That's a big penalty, and again, guys, special teams. How many times have we said that tonight? Well, tonight the penalties have certainly played an important part, but as opposed to what we normally say, lamenting the Saints penalties, they only have five for 40 yards tonight. 13 for 122 yards tonight. Give Coach Beck credit. We must have had some talking to this week and where the Saints are playing. Not penalty free, but playing hard yeah. and staying as free of penalties as they can for sure. Dante and Money back in at corners, man. So instead of nearly a first and goal for the Vikings, it's the first and 10 from their own 28. Handoff goes to Menga in the backfield and not a lot for him to do, but he does turn it up and tiptoes his way for a nice, well, he somehow eked out a nine yard gain on that run. Well, the Saints had good pursuit there, but he did turn it up. And the freshman runner tonight has uh, performed well at making Magua. As we mentioned, Clay Campbell, their starting running back. So they use about a carousel of four or five throughout the course of the night. But Clay Campbell out. Sets up a second down and a short one. And he pitch to Magua again. He turns it upfield and turns right into the Saints defense, but a gain of two. First down. Boy, Donche comes up the field right there to <clears throat> come up the play field and play play it off the edge. I thought he was going to make that play in the backfield. A good call here by Nolan Catholic, though. They know they're getting one or two yards on these pitches. A great block on the outside here. Just enough for the first down. Great coverage by the Saints, but they only needed two. Saints lead by a point, 24 to 23. 9.45 left to go in the fourth. Sam Hicks with a run. He changes right, direction to the left side. Had some lead blockers. This is going to go quite the ways. May go all the way. Junior Batista shoves him out of bounds inside the 20 on a touchdown saving tackle. That yeah, was well designed. Now he, he, he bopped that outside. You see, you could tell he, they wanted that to go inside right here. Watch this. How they wanted to go inside. But as soon as, he sees, as soon as he sees that close, he bounces that outside. Missing the tackle right there, and now he's off to the races. Quickly, <laughs> throw it over the middle, cut, and in close to the touchdown, just shy. Chance cover did not break the break the plane. I believe he's down at about the one. Man, I'm sorry, I didn't see him go that fast. Neither oh, did the Saints. As a wide open over the middle was the 225-pound, six-foot-one senior tight end at Chance Cover, and nearly made it in. First and goal. Boy, it is right on the goal line, gentlemen. Now right, their power set. And there goes Luke Masius. And a wildcat formation. Masius goes to a blocking roll. Left side of that line. Chance cover. Takes it in. Diving. Touchdown of Vikings. They're back in the lead. Good call right there. Good call by Nolan. Looked like all the momentum was over here. Now you got to go. You got to go. Uh, they've got to go for two here, I would think. They're only up five. They got to go for two. Six does you no good. You got to go for two here and make it a one score, seven point game. 8.42 left on the clock with it frozen here in the fourth quarter. Something we missed there, boys. I don't know if y'all noticed, but they had Asafo Mensa in there as a lineman for that power set and he was a lead blocker. 
I did not see that. I saw I saw the tie. I saw him snap it to the tight end and he <laughs> hit it north and south. Well, and Chance Cover who makes most of his hay being on the defense. In fact, uh, getting some looks and offers as well too for some division one teams and also some local teams as well on the collegiate ranks as we have a stoppage in play here for some sort of well issue. they're too there so no one on a two-point conversion they can decide where they want this football you want the football on the left hash you want the football in the middle of the right hash and i think their coaches are saying hey we want the football on the left hash they put the offense back in the game here and comes the quarterback masius back in the game yeah, now running onto the field right now is Michael the right tackle Michael Flores to provide a little beef along that goal line defense for all Saints. All right, big two-point conversion attempt here. There's your boy Mensa's at tight end now. They got and it. Oh. there he is. Well-designed play. Skipping his way in as a Mecca Megwa. Well-designed play. They run the motion to the right and then, and then come back to the left with the zone play. The walk-in, that was a well-designed play. Back to a touchdown differential, 31 to 24 in favor of Nolan. Saints back on offense with plenty of time, 8.42 left to go in the fourth quarter. After this, back to Fort Worth we go. Texas 24-7 Television Network. <laughs> 